Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So um, I'm slowly recovering from my um, Galapox uh, infestation, let's say, um, to await to see the campaign trailer for Battlefleet Gothic Armada 2. And I have to say, if there's anything that's going to make me better, then it's this game. Because they've decided in Battlefleet Gothic Armada 2 to take their whole campaign system to another level. Now, for those of you who've played Battlefleet Gothic Armada 1, you'll know that the campaign system was probably the, the best thing about that game. It had incredible, incredible cinematics. The story was incredible. But this time, they've just blown out the water. For me now, this game is basically a total war game set in space. The way the campaign is going to work is that you'll have sectors and within these sectors you'll have systems and all those systems have planets which you need to keep. They they have a benefit to you and to your fleet. So for example in the video it mentioned an agri world. If you keep this agri world then that will help you to produce more fleets because it's producing food means you can have higher population which means you can produce more humans to send into space to purge in the emperor's name then it's your job to go in and reinforce these systems and these sectors so you can add stuff like defense platforms you know you can actually start making different fleets like i said much like the total war series where you basically make a brand new army you assign a general and maybe you want to keep like the northern territories of your empire Empire secure. This is basically what you're going to do in Battlefleet Gothic Armada 2. What you're going to do is you're going to get an admiral and you're going to assign him to a certain system. So if anything bad does come to that system to take away that resource, then you have a fleet there in place to defend it and battle. I absolutely adore this idea i definitely think they have taken a lot of influence from the total war games and props to them because those chaps are over there they do the campaign system um like nobody else it's it's absolutely fantastic when you come to play um, a campaign system in total war so i'm super super looking forward to this now i think one of the best things about it is that you're going to get a lot of playability out of this game now when it comes to the campaign like in number one the campaign was great but you know i think i think i completed it in like six hours or something like that because i was addicted to it but with this one with the amount of systems i, I was like I, I saw in the trailer and you know everything that within those systems i think I've, i'm, I'm, I'm going to be playing this game a lot longer than six hours which is great because you're definitely going to be getting your money's worth and adding to that as well don't forget there's three different campaigns to play now in Battlefleet Gothic Armada 2. In number one, we just had the Imperium. In number two, we have access to the Imperium again, Necrons and Tyranids. Just uh, a little bit of a keynote for those chaps who are wondering about the Adeptus Mechanicus. They are included in the Imperial campaign. I know a lot of people, I've been seeing people, I say, hey, where's the, where's the Adeptus Mechanicus campaign? They are part of the Imperial campaign. So not only do we have this like kind of Total War-esque battle map, you can then go in and replay it as different races and, ex and have a different experience all over again. I think it's absolutely fantastic. And adding even more to that, you get to experience all three campaigns in co-op as well which is an absolutely fantastic feature not enough games have a co-op mode when it comes to single player games i think it really really adds to it when you can share this epic kind of story these kind of awesome battles with a friend now in this game what it basically does is that um, if you do do a co-op campaign your friend just controls half of the fleet it's, it's just simple you know you take half and they take half now the story for Battlefleet gothic armada 2 is from the perspective of admiral spire the, the the main hero from number one but that was um um a long long time ago um but the the way they've worked it is the good old warp uh, trickery is that admiral spire got lost in the warp he's re-emerged and because time's different in the warp it's basically gone like 800 years into the future him and his fleet have like come out of it and you know he's He's found out that Cadia has fallen and um, he's out to um, get his vengeance upon Abaddon. Now, one of the things which um, probably is scratching my head at is that since Gilliman has returned, um, because in the trailer you get to see Gilliman's ship, it even mentions Gilliman and stuff like that, um, I would have thought you'd, be, you'd been playing it from his perspective since he is basically now the de facto emperor 
when it comes uh, to Warhammer 40,000 and the Imperials because he's bloody Gilliman is a Primarch. But maybe he's just out looking for Old Dawn to bring back so we can actually have a good Primarch leading the Imperium. I don't know, but let's see what the story brings us. Whatever happens, I think we're in for an emotional roller coaster of awesome kick ass purging ride when it comes to Battlefleet Gothic Armada 2, when it comes to the campaign. I'm super, super looking forward to it. For those of you who keep asking me when the next beta is starting, it is confirmed in this trailer. It is the 15th. The 15th is when you'll have access to all the multiplayer stuff again, and you'll have also access to more of the campaign missions. I've been told that the Necron campaign will be accessible on the 15th as well so if for those necron fans or xenos fans you'll have a little um a little taster of that race to uh, jump in and purge with all right chaps that is me done for another video as always i will be streaming this putting content out all on the 15th purging in the emperor's glorious glorious name thank you for watching have a great night see you all very very soon see you now and bye bye